Hi, this is Nelson here. We are going to do some lab work this week on Charles Law and a bunch of the other guest laws. Um, so Charles Law, to remind you, is volume over time compared to volume over time of another situation. So we will look at that uh, in a lab setting and one that you can do at home. So what you need is you have to have some sort of can uh, with a small lit, uh, opening, water, a bucket or bowl, don't use glass, that can get broken, um, tongs or a hot pad uh, to move a hot can, and then of course a stove. So I have a gas stove, it doesn't have to be a gas stove, you can have an electric stove, that is fine. You'll start with an empty can. Um, you're gonna put just a tiny bit of water to cover the bottom. The goal here is to heat up the water enough to create a can full of steam. That's our gas that we're, we're heating up. I think we yeah, pour a little bit, but literally not much at all. Just hear it in the bottom. I'm gonna set it on my stove. I'm gonna put this in here. So over here we have a bucket with ice water. Um, so you can put, you can make it as cold as you want or not. You'll see a difference no matter what, um, but it's a little more dramatic the colder it is on the top. To start off, I'm going to heat up the can and boil the water into steam. So this takes a few minutes. You want to hear it bubbling and you want to see steam coming out of the top. So this is heating up pretty quickly. And I have tongs ready, so I will use them to put it in the cold water upside down. You have to flip it over when you put it in the cold water. Otherwise it won't do anything. And if you do try it and it doesn't do much, you need to um, just try it again. You might have had too much water in here um, or it didn't get hot enough. So just try it again, this is science. All right, I'm starting to hear some bubbling in the bottom and I'm seeing steam come out of it. And so here we go. So there you have it. So we know the relationship between volume and temperature is a direct relationship. So if the temperature goes down, that means the volume is gonna go down. So we'll measure this. We can do all the math for this. We're going to get all our values now. Um, we start with the can's volume prior to getting crushed, which you can read on the can. So it says 12 fluid ounces or 355 milliliters. So we're going to use milliliters for science. So, so that's V1. And then T1, I don't have any good thermometers that measure a wide variety of temperatures um, like we do at school. So we're going to make an assumption. So I'm going to, I know that it was boiling, which is what happens at 100 degrees Celsius. So when it boils, that creates the steam also at 100 degrees Celsius. I understand steam will get hotter um, than boiling water, um, but we're going to use 100 degrees as our T1 since we, we did it pretty quickly. So um, when we use temperature in our gas laws, we need to use it in Kelvin. So I need to add what? 273 so that my final temperature here in Kelvin will be 373 Kelvin. So that's V1 and T1. So that was our starting volume and our starting temperature. So now we will figure out our ending temperature based on our ending volume. So the volume um, we can measure and it gets a little tricky because I noticed I have a bit of a hole here, but we'll do it quick and again, we'll do as best we can. So I'm gonna fill it with water and then quickly put it in my measuring cup and try to not let the water out the hole. 
We'll see how this goes. So then, my measuring cup does measure in milliliters. Yours does too, I'm sure. So um, that is about 175 milliliters. So now we just need to solve for T2. So easiest thing, cross multiply and divide to get our answer. So once we do that, rounding to proper sig figs, it, T2 will equal 184, and that is Kelvin. All right, so the thing to remember, direct relationship, if my volume goes down, my temperature also goes down, or vice versa. So that makes sense that the end answers ended up similar to each other as the beginning um, quantities. Please let us know if you have questions and try this yourself. Um, and you can send us a picture or a video and let us know how you do. Thanks.